wonder why. I feel like ZSS oh. might not have the best hitboxes to beat out Goido. Maybe. Might be a little annoying. I he used to play Pilot. I mean, that's also a good matchup in a DP. I assume it's because of Rebel's Guard and back air. Mm. He can edge guard really easily, and then he just gets, you know, Arc Side for free off of Cordo. That makes sense. Yeah, for the Gambit against Michael's, a little bit of BM, but we're going to see, oh, we're going to see a lot of that inhale. Dien's a bit addicted to that. Move. He loves that. Move. <laughs> yeah, the neutral read. You're gonna see it every Absolutely. time. Every time MKL like crosses him up out of shield or in shield, uh, Dien's probably gonna do like a jump neutral reverse neutral B. And that's already the dodge. Yes, yeah. Wow. That was very quick. That's kind of what you expect to see at a Dien. Mm -hmm. Solid player. Especially once you're at the ledge off stage, it gets really difficult. One of the things about DD is most characters are gonna beat him in neutral, but if you're ever at the ledge, you've already made a mistake. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. I've had people ask me before. Um, you know, about how to play against DN, they're going to say, what do I do on the ledge? And the answer is, why are you on the ledge? Don't, <laughs> don't put yourself if there in the first if place. If you're there, you've, you've made a mistake. Uh, DDD is so strong with that ledge play. There it is. We love, uh, or we don't love it, but DN loves <laughs> to just toss out these Gordos. Um, really control the space. He does it when landing, he does it when off stage, he does it coming off the ledge. He does it basically whenever you give him the space to do so. So I'll be, it'll be interesting to see how MKL plans to counter the Gordo, because it's going to kind of dictate the pace of this match. We're into the ledge trap here. Can he find anything? No, he's going to look for the up smash. DN's just going to roll out and try to set up the Gordo ledge trap, but the, the uh, Makara Karn's going to reverse it. It's a really scary position right now. But, oh, DN overextends off stage, yeah. so... He commits low a bit too early. MKL just jumps high. And we're going to trade with it. Aha. So MKL wants to find the backer here, but he's taking a bit of a gamble on these smash attacks. Yeah, I'd like to see maybe a more consistent option on these ledge traps. Mm -hmm. Just looking for a back air, or maybe waiting and doing reaction forward tilt. Uh, as we see, he's just kind of committing to options, and DN's kind of punishing it, and or taking stage control for free. The egg on. Yeah, it's frustrating. it's frustrating playing slow against CDD, but you yeah. kind of have to do it. He brought that into a back. Ooh, okay. Well, he picks it up anyway. You don't have to be too worried about that. He and still has our send, so this is definitely doable. Doable, two stocks apiece. Get up attack, he's gonna take away our send and MKL. In fact, ooh, Aha does not reflect Gordo, that's good to know. Okay, the Nair, the Nair F tilt, that Gordo is gonna take it. Once again, MKL just overextending into DN's buttons a little bit. I'd like to see him play back a little bit more. DD doesn't have a good option to approach with. If you just hold back and reflect the Gordos, he kind of has to commit to an option. We're kind of seeing the opposite. I think MKL's getting a little antsy. He's kind of committing to these options um, before he really needs to. Oh, um, he could die here. Oh. Yeah, that was really risky. Um, luckily, he got away with it. Sort of. He lived. <laughs> All right, a good forward air. He's going to return him to neutral. Looking to seal the stock. Not going to find it. He's going to jump into these aerials from the end. Yen's done a really great job of anti-airing MKL so far. Mm -hmm. That's the classic DDD game plan. Throughout the Gordos, make you jump. You want to hit them during their jump. And so yeah, MKL really is going to need to develop a game plan around that then. Yeah, MKL, he's getting his jump sniped. He's kind of running into Gordo a bit too much. Um, and his ledge trap is, is, is too committal. I'd really like to see him, honestly, just commit less. Mm -hmm. if, if you're playing against DDD, you really have the option. If you're, like, you know... If you're in even stocks, so you're not like down yet. You kind of have the option to just play it slow. Take it a bit slow. You have the aha. You have the guns, right? He's he's really like running in. I think he, you know, he, he's thinking about how DDD's like a bad character. Mm -hmm. He's kind of trying to run in just to overwhelm him. You know, maybe thinking like I shouldn't be scared of this, but that's kind of not how you play against DDD. I think he's a bad character because he can't do much when you don't do anything against yeah, him and you take exactly. it back. He like has options if you allow him to use them. Absolutely. But you have the option to basically ignore him. <laughs> so. All right, good catch on the landing from DN. But we're gonna see a dash attack out of MKL and once again, kind of just committing there. All right, yeah, there we the go. Back There's back a good ledge tap option. On ledge I already like this more out of MKL. Gordo. And now that Arsene is gone, I think it's even more into his favor to play slowly. Yeah, he should definitely just be camping it out, waiting for Arsene. Uh, reflecting Gordos, waiting for DN to commit. He, he kind of has to like forward air or like dash attack or like he doesn't have a way to approach without the Gordo, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can reflect the Gordos reliably, 
you can force him into doing like a sliding forward hill or like a forward air. They're all punishable, right? It's DDP. The only thing he has is like back air. Then you just like run away. Yep. Yeah, you have to watch it. Neutral you have to watch it on a landing. One of the other things I don't like out of MKL here is that he's he's standing under DD a bit too much. Mm -hmm. It when, puts when, yourself in a position where you can get mixed up really right. easily. When DD is like jumping like that, he doesn't have any horizontal mobility. Mm -hmm. So you can actually just like just stay away. Just yeah, just like let him land, and then he's back in the situation where like he can't approach because mm -hmm. his neutral is not very good. Um, it, yeah, you can definitely play this matchup in a way where like. You can ignore DDD when he's in all of his advantageous positions and then just play neutral and he'll lose. Okay, holding on to ledge too long, that is uh, the DDD classic. He's got that jet hammer, right? It hits ledge. It has armor when he swings, and he can also jump. So he can cover all the options. Um, you just, just have to kind of pick and pray. You have to like gamble on a timing um, other than hanging on ledge. If you hang on ledge, you will die. And Arsene's already gone. That's not a good look. And this game kind of just disappeared, yep. if I'm being honest. It was pretty even stock one, and MKL wasn't able to find the kill, and the end's just kind of running over him for it. Okay, Carson's back. Chance? No chance. Okay. Clean from DN. Very clean. Very clean 2-0 yep. over MKL. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like we were saying during the set, he's just committing too much, I think. Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, just taking it slower, I think is definitely Kale, a approach. Definitely not a bad player, but I think just in that matchup in particular, too antsy. Mm -hmm. um, 